Hey guys, it is November 1st, headed out to <clears throat> hang a double set with my buddy Mike, not Mike from Trag Geeks, Mike Groman. Uh, we've had him on the podcast before, an awesome level two deer stewardess, really knows what he's doing, but we're actually going and hunting public ground today. We scouted this property out a couple, a couple weeks ago, and it was a piece of public ground that I thought was very, very intriguing. Lots of good terrain. It just, uh, it's one of those spots that catches your eye and you, you know, you think can produce for you. So we get in there and, uh, loads of sign. Uh, it's in an area where there's a heavy population of deer. So <clears throat> this morning's our first morning in. I hung a camera two weeks ago on that area that we want to hunt. So it'll be interesting to see what's on the camera and what we see this morning, but it is 32 degrees, 5.30, getting an early start since we have to hang a double set. Uh, <clears throat> the wind should be coming out of the southeast, which is perfect for this spot. And my sun toe keeps climbing with the barometric pressure, so I think it's going to be around 30.2 <clears throat> here, and then we're supposed to get some rain here late late morning so I'm pretty optimistic for this set we've been excited uh, haven't had a chance to hunt with Mike in a couple years due to family stuff and changing in jobs with him and so forth so it's pretty cool stay tuned well 6.30 and that didn't go as planned I tried crossing the creek and just too high we had a feeling it would be and we are drenched both feet boots boots are just completely soaked I haven't even taken the other one off yet probably can't see it but We're drenched. So that hunt's pretty much screwed. We're gonna try to get a little dry. It's 32 degrees, so we can't we can't hunt with wet feet, but we're gonna try to get semi-dry. Go in and at least scout it, pull that camera, maybe hunt off the ground. You know, sometimes I've always looked at it, try to look at everything positive sometimes when stuff like this happens that's when you that's when you have the best luck I, I've killed a lot of deer where everything just went wrong that morning so we're here we're gonna still go after it maybe hunt off the ground uh, it's it's pretty thick in there so if we can get into a good spot maybe rattle grunt I think something might come in
walking away. Well guys, it really started to come down in the rain there and <clears throat> since both of our feet were soaked and I have to get to work, we packed out about 10 o'clock. Um, ended up seeing two bucks, grunted that one in and then it it just caught our wind. <clears throat> Probably saw seven or eight does as well. And then as soon as we got to our trucks and started up the hill, I saw a really nice shooter working right right down to where we would have been so you know if we would have been able to sit all day I have a pretty good feeling he would have worked right past our stand so the the trail camera that I hung has a pile of good deer on it I think it got 230 pictures in the two weeks that it's been up and that's just on a trail so it's a good spot I'm excited to dive into that area a little more. I don't know when Mike can get back out with me, if he can this year or not, but I think I'm gonna take my dad into that spot here sometime within the next week. So hopefully you have a little more action coming from that spot. I have a feeling that a, a deer will get killed from that tree. I don't know if it'll be this year, but uh, it's an awesome spot on public land. Uh, it's November 1st, Wednesday, my day off. Spent the morning with Juliet while Lisa had clinicals and she got home right around 2.15. It is 2.21 and I'm out the door. Uh, I've got the tree stand in the back of the truck like always. Um, can I just go hang a set and keep my fingers crossed that something wanders by? Um, something kind of cool that Lisa and I have going on in our lives. We're closing on our house um, next Tuesday. So my entire plans this year for hunting were based around um, two or three days up at camp, all day sits during the rut, which would have taken place next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, and possibly Thursday. But we're closing on our house Tuesday. Uh, I'll be able to hunt Wednesday morning around uh, the same area I'm hunting today, and we're gonna move a lot of our smaller stuff um, Tuesday evening. Wednesday evening and Thursday evening so that we can get all the big stuff moved in this weekend. So that kind of puts a little damper on my rut hunting activities. Um, but that's life. And uh, we'll be really excited to be in a new place. Um, always rifle season coming up and always second season. So muzzleloader season. Um, and I'll be living uh, living next to game lands. So it'll be a new area to scout, new area to walk through. Um, it's on the other side of, of where I killed the coyote in 2015. So pretty stoked on that, really excited to get moved in. Um, even though my hunting season, I won't be able to spend near the amount of time in the woods that I'd like to, but do we ever really get to spend as much time in the woods as we'd like to? Probably not. So. Here we go. I just walked up. Up 10 yards away. The second one behind me just took off. This guy doesn't even know that I'm here. This is insane. That's so awesome.
Well, it's Saturday morning and uh, had a blast in the woods this morning. I'm just headed to work now. I had to switch vehicles and grab the company van um, to move some big equipment around tonight and tomorrow. Um, so, my morning started out. I, I got set up in the tree, uh, tree stand hung and everything ready, all my equipment ready to go. And two box within about 15 minutes of each other worked out between probably 30 and 40 yards. The one I'm pretty sure was legal. Um, it was that little nine or a little eight point. Um, but they were between 30 and 40 yards and it was definitely before legal shooting light. I really had to look through my binoculars to figure out what they were. Uh, it was mostly just body, uh, just being able to see the shadows of the bodies, but did pick up horns on both of them. And then I had two doe work out to me, and they were directly downwind from me. Um, and the first one, she got, I, I just needed her to take one or two more steps, and uh, she was kind of behind a, a tree and the limbs on a tree, so I didn't have a clear shooting angle to her. And she, she caught me and uh, looked right up at me and snorted, and off they went. So, I got ready to climb down early because I had to make the switch, vehicle switch and uh, get to work. Um, and then, I, so I got my backpack and my bow down out of the tree. And I'm taking my tree stand off and have it on my back. And I'm getting my first climbing stick off. And I hear a branch break. And I look down the trail and uh, there's a buck walking down the trail to me. It was a young buck, but I think it would have been legal. Uh, I didn't get a good look at him because he immediately snapped his head up and saw me and took off down <laughs> on his way. And then as I was, uh, so I got my tree stand down and as I was on my way back to the car, um, a little spike at about 30 yards is walking parallel with me for a little while. And I don't think he ever realized I was there. He was just kind of on, uh, on his way there. Um, so that was my morning. It was pretty fun. I started the packing process, so it's all my hunting stuff packed up that I'm not going to be using. The uh, rest of the QU stuff is in the laundry right now, so. Small front porch room is where I spent the last year getting ready to hunt, so good riddance. Well, I shot the RER today with the Valkyrie arrows that are tuned for the RK-1 and they actually fly alright, so uh, they probably need just to be a little bit stiffer, but uh, I shot broadheads out of it and I'm happy. What's up guys? Monday morning, the time change has happened, so I have an extra hour in the tree this morning. We set our clocks back on Sunday, stoked on that. Also stoked to be hunting with the RER this week. I uh, shot both bows yesterday. Um, felt really comfortable with both of them, so I did a little uh, pull on Instagram and uh, here are the results that got me taking the RER out in the woods. So we're just going to run with it and uh, it's raining this morning, there were thunderstorms last night so uh it's just gonna be a light drizzle hopefully all morning but it's supposed to come down here and there so that's about it we're gonna hit it 